What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to do some garden prep work. Yes, it is the eclipse day. But hey, I got these pineapples and um, <clears throat> I decided I'm going... I took the tops off of them and that's what you see in that bag there. I'm going to use these uh, pineapple skins and the tops as fertilizer. I don't know if you knew this, but... Um, this is good fertilizer for acidic loving plants such as tomatoes, cucumbers, corn, squash, to name a few. And so I figured since I had these, I need to do something with them right away. Um, you see there's a couple of bad spots on one of these pineapples, but um, the skins is what I'm after anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and take the skins and put them in the containers in preparation for moving my cucumbers outside it's about that time it's not quite warm enough yet we did get up to about 60 today but um the weather's been kind of finicky it's been in the 60s a couple of days it's been in the 50s it's been in the 40s and it has been dropping down to the high 30s at night on some occasions so tomatoes not quite ready to go outside yet cucumbers not quite ready but let's do a little bit of prep work um we'll get the uh, pineapple skins and the tops into the containers we'll bury them down there in it pretty good and they can um at least we can get some nutritional value out of them instead of uh throwing them in the trash we'll we'll use them as compost uh, which eventually will will turn break down and turn into some nutrition that can feed the plants. So not only does the pineapple skins um, have nutrients like potassium, magnesium, berlin, which can help enrich the soil, it can also help promote plant growth. Uh, the acidity of the pineapple skins also help deter pests and improve the soil pH levels. They do take quite a while to decompose, so I'll make sure that I bury them towards the bottom of the container and just have a layer of soil in between that and the plants. Also, I don't know um, how many of you realize, I just recently realized that clovers do um, are good for your soil. I guess I should say it properly. Uh, the clovers are considered nitrogen fixers. Uh, the roots of the clover plant convert atmospheric nitrogen into a form that the plants can use for growth. And as a result, the clovers can enrich the soil with nitrogen. I guess that's a better way to say it. Um, so having clovers um, near your plants are actually been beneficial for your plants. Um, I do have a natural tendency when I see them <laughs> kind of emerging next to a plant that I'm growing to kind of pull it, pull it up, try to pull it up from the root, um, but uh, not realizing that they're, they're there for a reason. You know, God put them there for a reason. He's trying to help you. <laughs> He's trying to help you um, put nitrogen into your soil. But um, I, I know they they look like they could be a bit of a nuisance, but they are they are there for a reason. Now these pots have been busted up pretty good. They have been outside all for every season of the year for years. <laughs> and they are hanging on by thread. They're plastic and they're not intended to be left outside season after season, year after year, but um, that's what happened, and, and um, I didn't really feel the need to try to save them this year because they were already busted before the winter even came. But um, I'm going to savage them anyway. But right now, these um, these these three can can hold the pineapple and, and, and the soil until I get ready to use it and, and transfer it to another container. But for right now, um, yeah, this will this will definitely suit the purpose. I really just want to break down this pineapple and, and feed this this soil, get it get it back up to par and, and ready to plant in, and then we'll uh, put all of that in a new container. Maybe uh, that's my plan. That's what I intend to do. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens when I when I get to that point. And that's probably going to be uh, a week or two away. So yeah, that's what we're doing, and and that's why um 
they look like that. They have been, I definitely got my money's worth out of these containers, even though they cracked a little bit. Hey, that's just drainage, right? <laughs> definitely looks like I have enough for at least a 40s big pot so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, finish this bag off in these uh, four pots and these pots are, are huge right but I did have I had two pineapples and remember it's the tops and which gives you a, a great amount of leaves but also the skins of the pineapple as well um so all of that's going in these four containers i thought i was just gonna have enough for maybe three but um yeah we're gonna spread the love around why not yeah i don't know if um my subscribers remember or not but i was able to grow some beautiful pepper plants um in these containers and i do want to tell you i did um also have a bunch of clovers in the container prior to me planting the peppers in there last summer and they did quite well i mean i basically had to pull up the plants um when the fall and winter rolled around because um it was getting cold but the pepper plants kept producing they just would not stop producing and it just broke my heart to have to just pull them up but um, that's what I end up having to do. So I do know this method, um, leaving the, the clovers to grow in there, um, really does, um, help provide some nutrients to the soil. So, um, yeah. Okay guys, so we're almost done with this task with the pineapple skins in these big containers in preparation again for the cucumber i don't know if i'm going to put the cucumber or the tomato plants but one of one of the two are going into these large containers now yep that is the end of that and then i want to show you guys the progress that i'm making with some other um experiments that I had tried I think I had given y'all a glimpse of a couple of things that I just wanted to experiment with so I'll give you an update on those as well you guys remember the carrot tops that I had purchased and um, wanted to see if they would regrow and remember the tops grew inside indoors and they grew quite well and I wanted to say I said let me put them in some dirt and see if they'll survive so they're still surviving weeks later I don't know what's going on underneath and here's the celery that we um restarted in some water you know we used the celery and then we just took the bottom part and put it in some water for a couple of days and it started springing up as well and this is my baby broccoli yes that's coming along quite well we're gonna see what happens with that and then um, this is uh, bok choy yeah this is bok choy and this is in one of the raised bed containers and that's doing okay I just gave that a little bit of water and uh, moving on I think I showed you guys when I planted did the transplants into these two raised bed containers these are the ones that I got from Lido I just left the top open and I kind of plugged up the side handle um, holes and those are doing quite well and I haven't put any water in these guys since they were transplanted it's the humidity from the lid is acting as a dome and um, providing I guess as much water as these need they look quite good they're doing well and i just plug up the sides with the bags make sure nothing gets in there um yeah and it was doing some heavy du duty rain i forgot a couple of days ago it had rained for a couple of days so leaving those holes open they probably got some rain water in there um like that also okay but i just plug up the sides like that yep and those are doing quite well and then um, I have a couple more of these also. So yeah, I have a total of four of these on the deck. <clears throat> Let's see how these are doing. This is butter crunch lettuce. Um, you see the humidity that's co uh, collecting on the inside of it. Yep, those are doing quite well also. Yep. 
And that's my update, guys. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.